Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you are new here, my name is Hannah and I upload YouTube videos once a week on a Sunday at 5pm. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my evening, tw evening routine for 2021. I started this um, towards the end of 2020 to get my body used to it. It's very, very similar to my morning routine that I showed you last week. So um, it's a very similar process. So I'm not going to talk too much. It's going to be, um, I'm gonna probably do a voiceover or have some calming music with it. I do this evening routine every single night and I find that it really, really helps me to sleep um, and also sleep through the whole night, which is good because when I don't do this, I find myself being a bit more restless or waking up in the night and yeah, it just really calms me and relaxes me and all that, all that jazz really. So um, the two couple of things that I will mention now is I recently got a new pillow. It is a Silent Night Hotel Collection pillow. Got two in my local Sainsbury's for £14. They were on offer and it's the most comfortable pillow I've ever slept on. It's so amazing and I've ordered a silk pillowcase from Amazon which is arriving today so um, you probably won't see that in this video but I may show it um, in another video coming up. So I really really hope you like this this video. I've said video so many times. I really hope you enjoy it. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you're new to my channel I'd really love it if you would subscribe down below. It is free. It doesn't cost you anything and if you'd like to be notified of any future videos that I upload just hit that little bell and you will be notified. So yeah enjoy and let's get ready for bed. So the first thing that I do when preparing for my evening routine is tidy up around the front room and just make everything nice and tidy and calming and restful. I always think a tidy house equals a tidy mind and I do this every single evening before I go to bed or before I do my exercises and lay on my mat. I also light a wax melt and I've got one of my soy wax melts that I got for Christmas which is sandalwood and it smells amazing it's so calming and so relaxing so I'm just fluffing the cushions I'm forever fluffing our cushions they're just so cozy um, and comfy but they always need fluffing and then I just sort out the blanket that we've probably been snuggled up in earlier in the day but I'll be getting back into this later on you will see so once the other lounge is nice and tidy I push the table all the way back to allow more space for my exercise and then I go upstairs and get ready. So I just get undressed, take everything up that needs to go upstairs and put it away. I then take out my loungewear slash exercise clothes. Um, I don't have any ex a particular exercise attire and I just pop into the bathroom and get changed. At this point I don't take my makeup off, I literally just get changed, tie up my hair, pop, uh, pop my clothes, my exercise clothes on, pop my other clothes away because they were clean for, for that for today and head back downstairs to do my exercises. Now when I say exercises, I mean gentle stretches and yoga. I've got back into yoga, I started back obviously in 2020 before um, the new year and it's just really helped keep me calm and it's helped me sleep at night and as you can see Arthur did not want to move, he wanted to do some yoga as well. He often joins me when I do my yoga which is quite funny so I thought he'd like to come and say hello to you all. Happy 2020 from Arthur. <laughs> 
So then I get my yoga mat out and lay it out um, by the side of the coffee table. It's not a great deal of room but it's perfect just for the evening. It's the perfect little size just for me. I then put on a relaxing playlist on YouTube, turn my phone off and then I get ready for my exercise routine. I do foam rolling and I lay on my acupressure mat as well which I'll have spoken in a bit more detail in my morning routine. I didn't want to show it more than twice but I do my acupressure mat and foam rolling twice a day and it really helps a calm me down and b really help with any back pain that I may have. I would highly recommend my acupressure mat but like I said I spoke about that in my morning routine. I then pack my yoga mat away tidy everything up from my exercises and pop my jumper back on because it was actually quite chilly. I, with my acupressure mat, I just have a sports bra on and I lay on it bare skin so it's usually pretty cold then. Once I've put everything back, I head into the kitchen and tonight I'm making an indulgent hot chocolate. It's still cold and winter here, so in the evenings, what's better than a hot chocolate with marshmallows? And I put a little naughty half a chocolate bar, I think this was a twirl, like half a twirl in my hot chocolate, and it makes it so chocolatey. It is so delicious, but so naughty. I also notice that I looks like I've just left my almond milk out but I haven't um, I did put that away once I'd stopped filming before I went upstairs so I came into the lounge and turned off the t telly switched everything off because I'm not going to be downstairs for a little while and I take my lovely hot chocolate upstairs and I begin to run my bath I have a bath every single night between four and five. It just really helps to relax me. I can't stand in the shower for too long. So being able to soak in a lovely relaxing bath with my battery powered candles just helps me to relax from any day. So I do this every day. I use my Avon bubble bath, which is called Goodbye Tension, which is my absolute favorite. And I add some of this Radox muscle soak um, bath salts which are just smell amazing then whilst my bath is running I get the bedroom ready so I take all the cushions off the bed I pull the duvet back and fluff it up a bit and just air it and then I get my bedside table ready and I spray the bed and pillow with some of this amazing lavender pillow spray from Avon and it just makes the whole room smell just so relaxing and ready for bed. I also lay out my book as well to read before bed and then take my towel into the bathroom and it's time to remove my makeup. So I'm not going to go into too much detail here so I'm just going to say that I'm using the chamomile cleansing oil from the body shop which I've still got some left and then this amazing cream cleanser from Avon which is lovely and if I have any makeup left I use just a bit of my cellar water to remove that. I'm then going to be applying a face mask tonight which is the almond milk with oats face mask from the body shop. It's a lovely moisturising face mask and I felt like my skin needed that. And this Ayurveda Ritual multi-use oil from Avon I actually rub on my feet which I will speak about more in another video. And the bathroom is ready, all relaxing, candles lit and it just makes for a really peaceful little ritual for myself. Once I'm out of the bath, everything's clean, all my skin is makeup's off, sorry, and it's time to just do my skincare routine. I will do a dedicated video um, of my skincare routine in a little more detail so I can talk about the products that I use that I'm loving at the moment, but I use these morning and night. I sit down at my beauty table and I just take this time just to really like treat my skin and it's it's like a meditation for me doing my skincare because I really take time I just you know sit down I don't have anything on I don't have a video on or any music I just take this time just for me to pamper my skin I 
I also make sure I rub this on the back of my hands as well. Don't forget your neck or your hands, that's where the first sign of aging is ladies. I then pack everything away, pop my chair back and I head back downstairs because it is time for dinner. I um, eat my dinner after I have my bath which is usually between 5 and 6 and I have a light meal in the evening so I have my main meal at lunchtime. And tonight in the fridge I'm going to be having leek and potato soup from Covent Garden which was so warming and delicious on this cold winter's night. You have to have some bread with your soup. Um, I was quite hungry tonight, so I had one slice of toast with lovely butter, which I allowed to melt, and it was so tasty. Um, and it was just such a lovely warming meal. I then take my dinner into the living room where I will get everything set up and I put on something to watch in the background because I do like to watch something while I'm eating. Um, I don't really like to eat in silence so I just put a nice calming video on, nothing too overstimulating and I enjoy my dinner and it was so delicious. It's then time to take my medication. I obviously take Galenia as well as vitamin B6 and vitamin D2, D3, sorry. So I'll talk more about those in another video because I need to update you on how I'm getting on with Galenia. I then get everything ready for a cozy night on the sofa. So I get some snacks, which tonight is some raspberries and this fiber chocolate bar. I get back under that blanket, I told you that I'd be coming back, and I get all cosy and relaxed and I just put something on to watch and this is my time to rest. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed this little evening routine. It's just my calming one that I do every single evening and yeah, I hope it's brought you some calm and peace, especially at the moment. Please let me know if you would like to see any other videos and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.